The eyes of Europe are on France. An entire continent is coming together. And these are our unwitting ambassadors. Ah, I'm just here for the violence. I'm just here for the If you like It's the start of a major football tournament at the end of a major political campaign. And Channel 4 News has gone undercover with England fans. This is mid-afternoon, 22 miles from where a game is being played and unprovoked. And perhaps most shocking of all, Our team joined England fans the day after beating Wales 2-1, drinking en masse in Place de la Gare, the central square in Lille. Roma children wander the streets here. Some fans give them coins, some bump fists, and some are vile. This wasn't the only hate we witnessed aimed at Roma children. We also witnessed fans stepping up to defend. The night before, English and Russian fans clashed here. 37 went to police cells, 16 went to hospital. But today, among some England fans, the hostility still flows as freely as the beer. And just six days before the most important democratic decision of many a generation, this was the message from one small section of society. And then came the misogyny. Two nights later and the flock of fans have migrated to Lyon. England play Slovakia the next day. There are skirmishes throughout the city as local hardline hooligans, known as ultras, clash with our fans. This amateur video purports to show a swarm of England supporters setting upon a French fan. Fresh from the fighting that night, we meet Alex. Happy to take on 40 fighters, unhappy that some England fans fled the violence. Regional pride that those who stood their ground were from his beloved northeast. Thousands of England fans in France are like these, here just to have a good time and enjoy the football. And the FA have been keen to point out that only a tiny minority of fans are involved in any violence. But a tiny minority is all it takes. And what happened to our ambassador on high? In his euphoria ripping up the flags of Europe in front of a baying crowd, he fails to notice his beloved England 
left blowing in the wind.